that is our centerpiece. But we'll start whetting your appetite from the same bill at the Hammersmith Apollo, a welterweight here, a local welterweight with obvious talent. Introducing Gary Logan from Brixton, he lifted the Southern Area welterweight crown last December. He's on a run of 12 straight wins, but his supporters want to see him stepping up now to bigger things. If he wins this one, he could be in line for a shot at the British title. His opponent, the durable Paul King from Newcastle, and our commentator is Ian Dark. Gary Logan, the Southern Area welterweight champion in the striped shorts here, up against Paul King from Newcastle, who's lost six of his last seven very much as the opponent in this one. Logan, who's lost only one of 24, and surely sometime soon must be lined up for a British championship shot. It would be a major upset were he to be beaten in this one. Logan already working quite well behind his quite thoughtful ramrod looking left jab in the early stages. Right and reach advantage for the man from Brixton. Trunks had quite a good start to his career. He won seven of his first nine. But he's become mostly a loser lately, and uh, he's not been that active as well. 16 fights in six years. from Brixton to watch him in action. Logan's round, I think. Gary Logan, Southern Area Champion. And had the reputation as an amateur of being a bit of a knockout artist, but really he's developed more into the boxer type since turning professional. King, only two stoppage wins in 16 fights, he's not a heavy puncher, and both of those were really against novice professionals. Badly needs a win to resuscitate what at the moment, quite frankly, is a bit of an ailing career. It's a division in 
the last 20 years or so in which Britain has produced fighters like Lloyd Hunnigan, Colin Jones and John H. Tracy. Two of them becoming world champions. Logan's 24 and he's getting to the time really in his professional career where they've got to take the leash off and see really how good he is in the higher echelons of the sport. He won his seven area title, climbing off the floor to beat Roy Rowland on a cut eye last December. That was a slightly fortuitous win. I saw that fight. A little bit of blood by his left eye. Good left hook though from Logan. Starting to let the punches flow a bit, maybe ominously for King in this second round. To be fair to King, he's looking quite willing enough. Some successes with body shots. Nice right over the top from Logan. Well, he's boxing a smart fight, really, Logan here. Just using the jab to dismantle his opponent bit by bit and to try to work the openings for the heavier punches that might follow. the uppercut inside Logan covering up quite well I think most of that uh, little rally from King landed on arms or gloves oh body shot was that low no I don't think so get out from that I don't think so he's in absolute agony and King is knocked out I wondered whether that shot from Logan had strayed a little bit on the low side but the referee perfectly happy that it was a genuine body shot and quite honestly it just knocked everything out of Paul King his 25th fight of his career. Now let's have a look at this again. The body shots leaves himself open to the body and there it was, yeah, fair enough. I did wonder whether it slayed straight below the belt, but no, in just under the rib cage. finish from Gary Logan who makes it 24 wins out of 25 very good loser indeed Paul King and they really do have to think about a British title campaign pretty soon for this guy Gary Logan well we wonder about that maybe Mike McCallum some people have been expecting Logan to be a little closer to championship class by now you were obviously tied up preparing for your own fight but what do you make of Logan having seen him there well he has good potential he uh thinks well, he utilizes his jazz very well, his punches very well. It was a beautiful com um, distribution of punches just now. Beautiful body shot after the two shots to the head and come back to the third shot to the body. It was, you know, shifted his body real good and put a shot very well. You need to um, cut the ring off some more, not follow his, following his man straight and move his head some more. But he used a jab and work off a jab very beautiful, so he's, he's on his way. Youngster there with some talent and I believe Mike, you had a little look at Mark Prince, another youngster on that bill at the Hammersmith Apollo over the weekend, and Mike's got an interesting few thoughts on Prince to follow a little later in the show. But we are talking with one of the great men, Mr. McCallum, and there'll be a whole lot more from Mike McCallum on ringside in just a moment or two. The body snatcher himself goes into action. McCallum now on the trail of a third world crown, and it's good, good stuff.
plus the hype spreads to both sides of the Atlantic ahead of the Battle of Britain's heavyweights. Glad he come to me because like, this fight was supposed to be in September, now it's October. And there's no backing out of this one, Tony boy. No way.